brief introduction just from me. Today is going to uh, focus on the Olympics. However, uh, we just want to show you a little bit of Master Pond's career. So in 1988 was the 24th Olympics. He won gold. In 1988, there was also the 8th Asia Championships in Nepal's. That was also a gold. 89, 9th World Championships in Seoul, gold. 1991, 5th World Cup Championship in Yugoslavia, gold. 1992, 10th Asia Championship in Malaysia, gold. And also 1993, second Vietnam Open Games, gold. Let's give him a big hand. So hello everyone, it's nice to see you tonight. And um, let me introduce myself. So my name is Taeho Gong. So I'm Grandmaster Kim Gong Taekwondo Center in Korea. Okay. I'm honored to share my athletic experience with you all today. Okay. So I know this is a part of my, I can't tell you whole story. So this can be a long story, but I just try to make a short right? So first thing, uh, here's my assistant, Chris, my son. Here's now one of the head instructor, uh, Ms. Jasmine. And here's my one of the students right there, right there, Michael, right there. And the first thing, so we would like to show you some part of the demonstration. So, um, Kendall, Ms. Kendall, we're going to start with Kendall. She is volunteering to show you a little bit of her basic um, motions. Okay, face everybody, check out. So, tomorrow is her promotion <coughs> test. So, she needs to perform a form, 1 through 12 steps, uh, four kicking combinations, as well as breaking, nunchucks, and there's also a verbal part. She's not going to show you all five because that would give you too much of an advantage for tomorrow's test, but she's going to show you one through 12 steps. Okay? Um, I'll lead you. Okay? Chin up. Chun B. Okay, can you say it loud? Say, take a ill jung map. Take a ill jung map. Ready? One. One map. Two. Snap. Two map. Three. Three map. Four. Four map. Five. Five map. Six. Six map. Seven. Seven map. Eight. Eight map. Nine. Nine men. Ten. Ten men. Eleven. Eleven men. Twelve. Twelve men. Paro. That was on the fly. Okay, and now we have Chris. Chris. Chunbi. Kungan. Begin. Okay, so uh, just so you guys can understand a little bit of what we're going to watch later, we want to show you some of the basic movements that will be used um, on the video. Okay, so there's roundhouse kick, and there's two roundhouse kicks, and there is hop back roundhouse kick, hop, good, there's also step back roundhouse kick, 
Uh-huh. There's also jump double. And tornado. Also spin hook. Did you guys get all that? <laughs> okay, so a little bit of um, what's interesting is you can see um, your master Kwan's favorite kicks. So a lot of times, I'm just going to give you a tip that way you can enjoy the videos. Fighting stands, he likes to do this one. And then he likes to do the hop back jump double. And he also does a counter and attack jump back kick. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That's his son. <laughs> okay, so can we give this? Okay. And also traditionally we break boards. Um, so we're gonna have Mr. Chris showing his favorite kick, which will be tornado kick. So instead of having the boards flying that way, do you want to stand on the side? Just in case. Okay. My favorite kick, spin hook kick. Demonstration. Okay. Let me start to talk about uh, my athlete experience. But so this is first time I talked about my athlete experience to my students too. You guys never heard about it, right? And I started uh, taekwondo when I was just six years old, just like you guys. And then one day I walk on the street with my friends. So I saw the two boys, they walk on the street too. They are across my street. Okay. So I walk with my friends, they walk on the street. But they wear the uniform. They got, they wear the uniform and then they were black belt. Mm -hmm. So I didn't mean to watch, watch them, but it just, it just catch me to see it. And I look at it, oh, looks really cool. Uniform, you know? But I didn't really remember black belt or blue belt, but uniform. It touched me, you know, it impressed me. Oh my God, it looks cool. And I asked my fr uh, friends, what do you think? He said, it's cool. I want to do it. Simply, you know, he said, I want to do it. You want to do it? Yes. Okay, let's ask my mom, right? And I, went home, I asked my mom, mom, I want to do Taekwondo. And then my mom said, what makes you start Taekwondo? And I told my mom what I saw, and then my mom was just smiling. She was smiling. Okay, son, I will give you one week, think about it. So after the one week, if you still want to do it, just let me know. So I was waiting for the one week, but I can't, I can't forget about the two kids. You know, they go to my dream too, you know? So it touches me. And then after the one week, I ask my mom, mom, I'm ready to do it. I want to do it. And then my mom said, okay, you really want to do it? Can you, do you promise me two things? Okay, first, once you start it, you try your best, okay? And second, don't stop quickly. Okay, I want you to continue to do it. So I promise, and that makes me start Taekwondo, okay? So first day, 
I go to Taekwondo place, it was really exciting, you know? I trained really hard. Everything is new to me, you know? I do punching, kicking, right? And the form, you know? I was really excited to train with my friends. But one week later, yeah, I started to get bored. Oh, you know, I'm kind of bored. You know? uh, I asked my mom, mom, how can I stop Taekwondo? And see, mom, my mom was smiling too. See, do you remember what we promised? And then she just told me what we promised. Okay, let me continue to do it. So I just continued to do it, and I passed a uh, practice for four or five years, you know? Because I want to keep the promise. You know, it's really simple. I was like, you know, six, seven, eight years old, right? So a lot of kids, they used to start it, they don't continue. You know, they just stop. That's why my mom, she was smiling to ask me, okay, I want to make sure the two things. Okay. So that's my uh, elementary school. Elementary schools, uh, how did I start to take on though? Right. And I went middle school. Middle school, you know what? Uh, in South Korea, school systems is way different than here. Okay. And each of the middle school and high school, we need to pay for the tuition. Okay. I'm trying to get a scholarship, right? Go to the middle school. Before go to uh, middle school, I need to get a scholarship. How can I get the scholarship? Uh, before go to middle school, I go to competition. Girl competition. Uh, if I got first place, I will get a hundred percent scholarship. Okay. If I got second place, half. You know, way different. The second place half. Third, only I can get thirty percent scholarship. But I'm trying to get a scholarship. Okay. So, uh, luckily, I got first place before I go to middle school. That's why I got the full scholarship. Uh, but, you know, middle school, uh, how did I practice? You know, elementary school and middle school is a huge different. Kind of elementary school, we just play. But middle school, it's more, everybody wants to be best. Everybody wants to be, you know, a champion. They have on their goal, you know, what they want to be. So they want to be professional even though middle school. But my first of the middle school, I didn't know I just graduated from the elementary school, right? I need time to get used. So I didn't know. So I just, you know, practice, it's like habit. But how we practice, uh, I go leave at home, five o'clock in the morning. I wake up five o'clock. And they leave at home 5.30, you know? Walk to the subway, it takes about 20 minutes, okay? And take the subway to get school, 40 minutes. The total, one hour. So I leave at house 5.30, right? I got school at 6.30. Right? And I just write something. So we start the you know, morning training, seven o'clock, seven to eight thirty. So in my middle school, okay. and then after that we go to class. And then feel class finish three thirty. Then uh, we uh, start the afternoon training, four to seven thirty. Okay. That's the daily schedule. You know? but. Even though we finished the seven thirty, I can't get home because our middle school system is. I need to serve senior, you know? so I can't leave until they leave. You know? After the training, they take showers, right? I need to serve them. They talk to each other, right? They stay until nine thirty, ten. I can't leave, so we just wait for the senior. And then after they leave, and then we could go. 
But after that, we cleaned him, right? And then we talked a little bit, you know? And I got home, 11.30. Yo, can you believe it? That was a middle school. You know, 13 years old, 12, 13, you know? That's why you know, sometimes I look at the new generation kid, oh, they just so lazy, you know? <laughs> they don't need to do something really hard. Everything is on the phone, right? They're just like that. You know, their fingers really fast, you know? So I understand that that's your generation, right? But my generation is way different. So, uh, we're training just like this, okay? And, you know, I told you already, in my middle school, I didn't train really hard. So, it's just habit, just practice, you know? And didn't have uh, any meaning. Uh, you know, it's like habit, okay? So I didn't set up my goal too. You know? But, <clears throat> second, year of the middle school. One day, same routine. I got home, 11.30. I saw the, a lot of the shoes. Okay, so 11.30, you know? Think about it, 11.30, oh my God, what kind of gas do we have? A lot of the shoes, I could see it. You know, and then I go inside, Somebody crying. Somebody crying. You know, I never heard about that they can't cry. Really sad. You know? And I go inside, and that was my mom. Because my daddy passed away that day. You know? But uh, I just le uh, left the home 5.30. My daddy passed away seven o'clock in the morning. But mom didn't call me. You know, my mom didn't call me. My mom called all of the, my siblings. I have uh, two brothers and the two sisters. So my mom called all of the, my siblings. They already in home. The mom didn't call me because she didn't interrupt my schedule. And also she doesn't want me to miss practice. So only the me I got late. My God, I can't believe it. You know what happened? Because I still remember that before I leave, my daddy, he was just swapping on the floor, and then he was just smiling. That was the last time I saw my daddy smile. So, uh, that happens, then me change, okay? Because we were okay. Because my daddy, he was, you know, electric engineer, right? We are really just normal family, we are okay to live. But now, you know, single mom raised a five kid. How she can do it, you know? And then it makes me, okay, you know what? I need to get a scholarship, scholarship for a, a high school. So I, the only things I need help my mom, and then I need to show my mom something. So what can I do? Train her, get a full scholarship, make, mom, make my mom's happy. Yeah. That was my middle school, yeah, middle school. And, and, and I go to high school, okay? I graduate from the middle school, and I go to high school, and before <clears throat> we go to high school, I go to high school, there was between that, I graduate from middle school, February, and then I didn't get into the high school, but we used to go to get into the high school in September, uh, uh, March. March. So between the March and February, there was big competition. It's big competition. You know, chance to be a national champion. 
But I was just 15, I was 14 and 15. You know, I was 15 years old. But I started the middle school when I, I, uh, when I lost my daddy. I trained really hard. Okay. You know, I want to be national champion. I really want to be national champion. I trained really hard. Okay. And then training for the, this competition. But I was still young, you know, 15. That competitions age high school through all age, 22, 23, 25, you know, all age. I'm just started, you know, 15. So nobody expect I'm gonna get some kind of medal, some kind of thing. Because in my divisions, there was 10 people in my school, and then 10 people, they are two or three years older than me. So we go to uh, my division, it's like 11, 12 people go to competition. So my coach, he expect one of them, all this, they will get a you know, win in first place. But he didn't expect I'm going to do something because I was too young. But that was big happen. Everybody lost. Everybody lost. And then my coach, oh, you know what? You lost? You lost? You know what happened? You lost? And then he, he was looking for somebody else who still win. Me, 15 years old. You know? And then everybody lost except me. And then the coach came to me, you know what? You gotta do this. <laughs> you know, before they didn't expect anything. God, you gotta do this, you know? Oh yes, I'm trying hard. You know? <laughs> and I go to finals. I won. I got first place. And then my coach, he was crying. <laughs> oh, <man. You> know? <laughs> Damn, gosh. You know? I can't believe it. See, you know, these kind of things, uh, you, know, every, you guys already know, you know, always something special from unexpected people, surprise, oh, right. So that big competition made me special, you know, and then when I won that games, and all of the, I, I came on the TV, you know, and they put it on the newspapers, you know, because it's 15 years old, you know. So uh, it's good to start the first year of the high school. Now uh, I'm not high school level. It's like already national level because I got first place in a big competition. And my mom was really proud. You know? So. It's still my first year, and I got the I got first place. After that, uh, I qualified to go to final tournament. So that final tournament, only five people be there. Okay. So last year's champion, first, <coughs> champion, you know, and second national champion, third national champion, and two people from the <coughs> different big competition. So me and somebody else, five. Uh, I went to the uh, final tournament, first match, I was fighting with last year's world champion. Last year's world champion. He's my hero. My God, I want to be like him. He's my <coughs> hero. Wow. And I'm going to fight. You know, I'm going to compete with him. I can't believe it. And then uh, before you know, compete, I can't go to sleep because I'm kind of really scared, really scared and nervous. You know, I can't go to sleep. So, oh, you know what? I, I, it feels like this. I want to avoid it. You know, I, I don't want to do. I just going to go somewhere, just run away because I'm kind of really scared about it. 15 years old. You know, he's a world champion. And the next day, uh, that was first match. 
I was fighting, and then what do you think? I lost to him. I was too young. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? One. What do you think? No? One? One? One. I was 15. He, he's like 20 something. <laughs> <laughs> he was world champion. <laughs> he's world champion. <laughs> you hope Master won. Right? But uh, first round, we were. Time. We were tied. Second round, we were tied. Last round, finally, I did punch. I got scores I won. No? And then my coach, same way, you know? <laughs> same way, you hugged me. Ah, you know what? You did it. Because you beat world champions. No? And then, I have a more confidence to next match, okay? And then five, I beat once, right? I fought three people, right? Three more. And the next one, what do you think? You won. I won? I lost. <laughs> <laughs> next one. One. One? I lost. <laughs> Last one. One. One? one. Last. I lost. <laughs> you know? I only beat world champion and then I lost from three of them. No, I didn't make the national champion. Okay? But, you know, I could see I hope to make, uh, hope to be a national champion next year. You know, I could see uh, my futures, right? And it gives me more confidence, right? And next year, second year of the high school, same way. I went finer competition, there was five. I won, and I lost. And next, I won, and next, lost. lost. <laughs> so, second of the years, I got third place of the national champion. So we always, they always choose the first, the second, third national champion. There's a three different competition, the world champions, world cup champion, Asian champion, some kind of things. You know? So I made the third. But even though I got third national champion, that's, it's, it's almost impossible, my age. Everybody was in college students, right? Professional teams, right? I was in high school, second year. That was 1987, long time, huh? long time ago. And my last year of the high school, 1988. Now I go same way. I went final tournament, five, first match, one, second, one, next, one, last one, last. I won. <laughs> I beat all four. You know, and they become a national champion, and they qualify to go to uh, Asian Championship. But that Asian Championship uh, it was held on February, 1988, February. So I went to Nepal, and I got first place. But <clears throat> that same year, it was Olympic Games, right? But even though I got uh, first place, it's not qualified to go to Olympic Games because I already told you there's three people, right? We train together, February to July. Okay, we stay together, we train together. So every month, we need to compete. Who's gonna win? Get a score. Each of the uh, people, they will get a score. So who will get a best score? Well, apply to the Olympic Games. So it's like six months. So we training, of course, you know, everybody wants to go to Olympic Games, right? So it's not done yet, even though I got first place. Why are you guys doing it? You know, they want to make the more, you know, uh, strong uh, competitors, you know? So six months, how they training? Let me tell you. 
I will trade it. So we wake up uh, early in the morning. Six o'clock starts the training. Six to seven thirty. What we do? We running and cross country, right? And then weight training. So they train for the morning. Six to seven thirty. And then after that, we got a little uh, breakfast, and then uh, practice ten to twelve, two hours. We training. We do a target drill. You see that you know we show you target. The target drill for two hours. Two hours, right? So you guys training for forty minutes, right? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, mom, I'm so tired. <laughs> forty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See? And then after the 12, we got lunch and take a break and start the afternoon training 3 to 6 30. 3 to 6 30. So, what we're training, we're training for sparring drill. Sparring drill. But here's the key dinner. We finish the training 6 30, and after that, we, go, we got dinner. Okay. And they take a shower, and then some people just relax. And they go outside, do something. This is option to practice. This is option. 8.30 to 9.30, private practice. Who wants to do it? Okay. But I didn't miss it. That's my choice, right? Every single day, I didn't miss that 8.30 to 9.30, I'm training by myself. Because all of the 6 to 7.30, 10 to 12, 3 to 6, everybody can do it, right? How can I be better than these people? Extra hour, right? That's why I never miss this night training. And so uh, before Olympic Games, uh, after the Asian Games, six months, every month we compete, of course. I made it. So I got the most of the score, and they qualified to go to Olympic Games. So that's the, uh, it's not only for the Taekwondo. I'm talking about the, most of the athlete, they training just like that. Because uh, uh, how they can be a champion, they just crazy what they doing. I think one day I told my students uh, before we go to competition, we have a meeting. Okay. And I told them, I asked the kid, you know what? What do you think? Can do you think so you're gonna you're gonna get a first place? <clears throat> what do you think? You think you're gonna get a first place? Yes, Master, I can get a first place. Okay, let me ask you something. Have you uh, are you uh, the competition? Have you have a competition in your dream? You know. And who has a dream about competition? The one case, raise your hand. And I think, oh, you're gonna get first place. You're gonna get first place. So that's for the all of the athlete. They only think about one thing, you know set up their goal, they go to their way, okay? If you, they think about the other things, you know, meet the girls and dating outside, right? No, they never make it. <laughs> no. So, uh, and I go to Olympic Games, and then Olympic Games, I have uh, some kind of story to it. So before I'm gonna uh, tell you about the Olympic Games, so I, will, you know, I would like you guys to watch the Olympic Games. I will explain to you.
if you should tell them that way when I play it, they could see it. Tell them what happened on that day. Uh, after it's a screen of kicks, right? Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Uh, dad, what? Stop. No, Dad, uh, he shouldn't eat that. Uh, when a uh, woman is uh, uh, sparse, if you open and fall down, he can't do anything. He just hit my head, right? So after this, I got concussion. And then after that happened, I don't remember anything. You know, I go to a final games, I don't remember that. You know, you see this. And then after this, my movement, little different. Did you get penalized for that? No, no, no. You didn't get kicked out or anything happened to you? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> That's my final. That's my final. But uh, before I go to final, uh, uh, finish the semifinals, I got a concussion. So I didn't remember that. So I think, uh, you know, I think so. Is competition finish? Uh, time to go home. I go to locker room, and then I was packing. I was gonna leave. You know, I, I think it's done, and I was going to leave. And then coach, right? And then my uh, teammate, they came to me. Hey, what happened, guys? Sit down. And then doctor came. He just massaged me, right? And are you OK? So I said, yes. It's done, right? No, no, it's not done yet. You know, you need to do the finer. And after that, they call my name. OK, take all guns, prepare for the final competition. No, I just go to final and go fight. Look at this. That was the finals. Uh, but after I uh, finished the finals, I went to the hotel and I did members. But I got first place anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But what makes me want? Because uh, I believe that because I training really hard. You know, even though sometimes that happens, my muscle memory, because I trained really hard. And then still, only things, oh, you know what? 
I need to do the first place. I need to do the first place. You know? That helps me move. But uh, that happens, and they also uh, 1988, and I lost the uh, <coughs> 18, 16, 16, 18 pounds. I lost 18 pounds. So that's my one of the experience. So after the Olympic Games next year, I went to World <laughs> Championship. I got first place. But uh, one day I fought <laughs> six times. But at times I lost 28 pounds. Can you believe that? 28 pounds. 110. 110. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> But that was my uh, last compete for the dead division, 1989. After that, I just changed my division to more uh, highway. So uh, I changed my division, go to the 1991 World Championship, and I got first place. And then over Asian Championship, and I got first place. So that's part of my uh, athletic experience. So, um, I just want to uh, make sure that uh, I started Taekwondo when I was six years old, right? So you guys are still young. But when I started Taekwondo, I didn't know which coach is good. I did no idea. But I got lucky. My coach was good. <coughs> you know, he built my strong basement but i didn't know i just practice follow coach right how can i know and later on i could see oh how, how come my roundhouse is good because my coach first coach he built, built me strong basement so you know uh strong i told my students we're gonna make the strong basement. So that way they do something that's going to go smooth. Because everything, when you do some kind of sport, you don't know which is right or wrong. Right? So you got to try to, parents try to find out the you know, best coach to make the strong basement. I, to, I just want to you know, tell you some kind of tip. Okay? So that coach and also I have a really nice coach. I got lucky. They're lucky for all of the, my teammates, all of my friends too. Everybody has a lucky. But who's going to make it? You know, that's the, one of the uh, importance. You know, who's going to make lucky? So and everybody can start. Everybody can start. Everyone started together. But uh, who's gonna continue consistent? That's the most important. See, I, I was trying to stop, but I wanna keep my promise. You know, first, I wanna keep promise to my mom, right? But later on, I'm trying to keep promise by myself. It makes me continue to do it. So, uh, uh, before we uh, finish this, I you know this is, I just wanted to talk about my experience. I want to share my experience. And key, we try to find out the key to open up the door. We open the door, there's the dream. You know, that's each of the people's dream right there. But close it. We find out the key, open the door, get in. Make on my dream, right? When you make the dream, there's another door. You're trying to open it because you already you know how you can find out the key. You able to find out another key, open up the next door to go to your dream. Okay? But that key is small, but it's really strong. How you can make the strong key, right? That's D 
depending on you, how you guys do it, how you guys prepare for this, how strong for prepare this, that makes you will make the strong key to open up the cost to your dream. Okay, so uh, after this, uh, I want to ask you, if you guys ask me something, so we could talk about that. So any, any questions? questions? Uh, <clears throat> how has martial arts changed your life, your life every day? How martial arts changed my life? Yeah. Simply, you know, I want to get a full scholarship. So. I want to get a full scholarship. That's my goal. You know, goal it doesn't matter how big it is. Small goal, but that's my goal. And I continue to do this, right? And it, it, it makes me think. Because go to competition, sometimes I lost. It makes me think, right? And then sometimes I lost, but I thought I win, right? There was one of the big competition. I trained really hard. I'm sure uh, there's no doubt I'm going to get first place. But I lost. That was in finals. And then after that, I just hold my ha hammer, throw away. I was really mad. Throw away and then say something. <laughs> you know? I'm not going to do this anymore. <laughs> you know, and then my coach, hey, you crazy. You're going to think about the next competition. You need to think about the next one. No, I'm not gonna do this. No? And I go outside the city. <sighs> because it you know, makes me think, how, how, did I, how did I train hard? I trained really hard. <sighs> and then uh, my, uh, that guy, he came to me and said, you know what? I'm really sorry about it. I agree you won, but something happened. I agree what you want. I'm really sorry about it. And after this, I say, okay, you know what? You want. Because you want, of course, right? And then I'm thinking about by myself, okay, think positive. Before that, kind of negative. I'm not going to do this anymore, so I, I change my think to positive. Okay, <sighs> let's do let's training again. Maybe these guys training more harder than me, but if I do the 1,000 roundhouse kick, maybe he go 1,001, which I lost, you know? And that makes me practice again. Next year, I got first place. Um, what do you do on the finals? What kind of things do you do on the finals? What did I do the final? Um, what kind of thing? Um, huh? Maybe, maybe like, uh, what kind of kicking? Yeah. What kind of kicking? Or, or what kind of, <laughs> is, is that your question? <clears throat> well, yeah, what kind of things did you do? It was my final. <laughs> <laughs> that was my final. Uh, kicking. Oh, kicking, so like round out, kick, back kick, toenail kick. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh yeah. If I got first place, I'm gonna get full scholarship. So and then my school has a taekwondo team. So that's why I go to that school. You know, each of the middle school, high school, they have a taekwondo team. So that's why I you know uh, if we anyone's qualified to go to uh, that school has to go to taekwondo team and get a full scholarship or half and thirty percent scholarship. With your, that first experience, you were, you were walking with your friend and you saw the two guys in the uniform you thought it was cool. Yes, ma'am. Did your friend also do type of Oh, yeah, you know what? That's why France is really important, huh? That guy's uh, Olympic bronze medal. Oh, so you guys stuck with it. Yeah, yeah, and oh. then this guy's world champion. See? That's, you know, France is really important, huh? <coughs> so, passion, Eddie? Um, did, you, <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to go back and do the Olympics again? Oh, yes. Uh, 
<laughs> that's, that's 1992. I was a phantom wing. There was a fin fly phantom. There's eight division. So uh, that Olympic Games, I was a fin way. And then next Olympic Games in 1992. Okay. I got first place in my division, phantom way. But at that time, only four divisions able to go to Olympic Games. So it was my division. It's a fatal way, a little bit higher, a one higher than uh, my way. So, so I didn't choose, you know, they don't choose my division. So I, that's why I can't go to Olympic Games. Um, what's your favorite kick? Favorite kick? Did you ask me to show you already? Right? Jump double roundhouse kick. You see that jump double roundhouse kick? My favorite kick was jump triple roundhouse kick. But sometimes jump and four times roundhouse kick. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite kick. Yes, ma'am? Is it rare to have concussions? Uh, no, it's kind of, uh, you know what? Uh, concussion? At that time, <clears throat> if you, uh, one day Jasmine told me, right? Maybe right now? Yeah, if it was right now, uh -huh. they probably wouldn't have let him continue to fight, right? Because everybody's be. very, um, uh -huh. you know, we have more knowledge over mm -hmm. brain trauma. So probably if that was now, they would have stopped him just but for safety. Does it happen commonly? I mean, I'm not, I want to relate it to football, but does it, it, does it happen? I mean, no, no. Is, that was my first rare. time. Okay. First time. That was my first time. But it, but it is rare. Then. It doesn't it's, it's pretty rare unless you uh -huh. are professional. It happens at that level. But even still, um, at this point, people um, are point fighting. So what that means is they're not really point uh, kicking to hurt each other like right. before. Now it's just like you touch and you get the points. So okay. it's like they don't need to expend all the energy to hurt somebody. Because also in a lot of the competitions, if you show that you are trying to hurt instead of use skill, they will disqualify you. That's why you lost all the way, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that was your uh, first time I got that that happened. Do you still compete? No. Yeah, how I when did so. you stop competing? Uh, I retired uh, 26, 25, 26. It's still young though. But uh, I decided because you know what, uh, you know, athlete, how many times they think about they quit training a day, a day, <laughs> maybe it's more than hours, every hour. <laughs> you know, they think about, oh, I, 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 I don't want to do it. I want to quit, 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 continue. You know, so. Um, in my college, right, and then before I go to college, there's another dream, right? I was dream about the campus, right? And then after the class, I just go outside, right, and get some beers with my <laughs> friends, right? That's campus. I never, never did it, I never ever. Just training, training, you know, and then. You know, college students, oh, I want to uh, dating with some girls, right? No. Because I can only think about this. If we think about other things, we can make this. So after that, that's, you know, every time, I would quit, quit, quit. So what is your normal life? <laughs> um, how do you train your son? Is it, is it as rigorous as when you were training? Oh, my son? Mm -hmm. It's really hard, so you guys know, right? You know, teach the own son, it's, it's hard, it's hard. I train my daughters and then uh, uh, my son too. And also it's a different system. It's a little different system. So once again, they always look for the more simple way, easy way. You know, if it's something, something hard, oh, I'm so tired, I can't do this. And I told, hey, you know how many hours they train a day? They don't care about it. That, that was. <laughs> no. 
But I train them anyway. I train them, you know, and become an athlete. And then one of the, my uh, parents, some of the parents, uh, uh, his daughter was, uh, his daughter, uh, she was doing skating, ice skating. And then he just came to me and asked about, can I ask you something? Can you just share your Olympic experience, athletic experience? So I would like to ask you something. My daughter, she is, was like 13 or uh, 10 years old, right? 10 years old. And we met uh, Michelle Huang, and then Michelle Huang said, you know, you're gonna don't go to school, you gotta do the homeschool, and then focus on your training. And I said, I understand that, but you gotta think that's your choice. You know, this is part of the gambling too. You know, if you think. You could see, if you see your daughters able to be national champion, you gotta do it. Or when she got a competition, she already got many first place, do it. But if she didn't get first place, third place, they give her a little bit more time. Get 10 years old and 12, and see that? After the 12, she's, she's not get better. So do it. Just you know, enjoy. Just you know, enjoy the skating. Because uh, champions, I can make by myself. Comes with parents, right? And coach. It has to be together. That makes champions. You know, if I didn't have a really nice coach. I got really lucky, you know, I started Taekwondo, that coach, really nice. He made a lot of world champion. And then I have another coach, his master, my master, middle school, high school master. He's the legend. He's the legend in Korea. You know, he made a lot of world champion. So that part I really, thanks for, uh, for the, or meet this kind of nice coach. Okay, yes ma'am? On the triple roundhouse kick, did you like do the kicks in the air or did you just do them separate? Do the air and target, you know, and the wave target, practice with wave target, hand target, and air. The air is most hard. If the air is most hard. Anything? What made you decide to come here and share your oh, lessons? Yeah. Okay, that's I was really thinking about it. Uh, uh, Mr. Shuri, she contacts me four, three months ago. Mm -hmm. Four, three months ago. Uh, I was a little bit of hesitate. Do I need to do it or not? Because uh, I don't want to give you guys 100%, okay? Maybe some people think different. Some people think different. Yeah, I was a little concerned about that, okay? But what makes me decide to come here, share my experience? Uh, that experience should be, uh, I hope uh, that experience help you something for your kid, right? And just a small part for <coughs> use that tip for what you guys doing, you know, or it makes you think, you know, it's not big things. Uh, I just try to my experience, you know, you guys use my experience and what you guys doing. That's why I decided, and also this is a community. Right? You know, that's why it makes me, okay, I wanna, this is a community. I just want to help the community, you know, and teach the marshals, right? And then teach the kid, because I'm thinking about, we, we teach them positive things, you know? And think about it. It's a lot of them, if a lot of them do the martial arts, 
I think you know it's gonna make the safe community because the majority to respect each other, right? If people respect each other, what do you think? You know, it, it will make the community safety. So that's why I'm saying, okay, even though I don't have a really big experience, I just want to share my experience. That makes me decide to come here. <laughs> what year did you uh, immigrate to the United States? And what made you think about coming here? Oh, that's a long, long story. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> well, what year was it? 1996. First, I went to Chicago to see my friends. Uh, once again, the friends, you know, we meet a group of the people, you know, same group, right? But because uh, a lot of my friends, they are world champion, right? And I went to, uh, first I went to Chicago to see my friends. He's the two times only the champion. So, I went there to just, just, just see my friends, and um, it's kind of complicated, you know? And I never thought about I'm gonna be here. I never, ever thought about it. And I started to Europe uh, when I was so 15, uh, 16. 16, I started to go to Europe. All of the Europe the competition and demonstration. And I never, been in America, and I don't, don't have a chance to come to America. And then that's why, you know, one day my friends, he just invited me to come to the Chicago. So I went to Chicago to see my friends, but it happens, just live here. It's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Any last questions? Maybe we can. Um, Finish up by giving Grandmaster Farm a big hand.